So, would you like to say your full name and uh, who you are? My full name is Hipti Nijkens Hertel Helmrik. It's a very long name, but I am the sister of Leonard Hertel Helmrik. And my uh, maiden name, that's my maiden name also, Hertel Helmrik. And the Nijkens is the name of my husband, but also from my son, Jasper, who is the editor of this film. Okay. And, um, and he's young. Oh. Very young. He grew up with uh, with film, so that's why. Uh, and he, he got used in single shot cinema because he also did position on the stars. So, and I'm very proud of him so that we made this film together again with the, the three of us. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, you recently in 2004 you won the Dutch uh, Award for Women Filmmaking. Yes. Would you like to explain that? I did. Yeah. Uh, that was years ago. It was more than 12 years ago. Uh, when they voted people in Holland, all the people from uh, the, the women from the Dutch television and the Dutch film, because it's an over a uh, young film and, and, and television together, and it makes a woman makes media, media, uh, women's media it was called, and they um, nominated three women, and then uh, the older women could vote on somebody who had the best ideas, uh, the best, um, they, they did interviews with me and they put the interview with me online with all the, you know, some issues and all those people, uh, women could vote, not only because they like me but also because of my ideas and because of my ideas they choose me as the best and I'm very proud because there were two other women and one of them is very, very famous in Holland and, uh, but she wasn't chosen. They choose me. So, congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, how is it to be a woman filmmaker? How is it to, to be a woman a filmmaker? A woman filmmaker. Okay. Uh, let's start. Uh, uh, first of all, I was uh, doing 25 years. I was a producer, and I, I uh, 25 years ago, it was not um, very common to have a woman a producer, and it was very hard for me to start as uh, as a producer because most are men, and they smoke cigars like this, and they had grey hair. And then I came in and I said, yes, but I'm producing, so I did my job, and, but I wanted to, uh, with Leonard together, because he was, I, I believed in him as a good filmmaker, and I knew that he, he, uh, he um, needed a producer, so I thought, why not, I will, I will do that job. But I succeed in uh, in doing films not only with Leonard. I did I succeed in uh, a lot of women filmmakers, uh, directors like Edin Flips, uh, um, uh, 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 Claire Pijnman. They are all uh, women directors in Holland, and they couldn't find either a good producer. So they came to me, and uh, with them I made a lot of beautiful films, award-winning European Film Award, uh, whatever. And we filmed from Russia to the South. Uh, Latin America, uh, no, till uh, sorry, uh, Florida, and so and then after a while, uh, I thought, and I got money for for uh, with an issue, and I thought, why not? Why should I do it myself? Why shouldn't I do it myself? So I could make for the first time my own documentary, and uh, and I had Jasper, my son, who could edit it, and Leonard, he shot it with with the camera. And, uh, but, but it was interviews, so it's a little bit hard for him because he's not used to do interviews. But actually, we succeeded in making this film, and uh, it was with a, a target audience, so uh, Dutch Indonesian audience. And they, uh, all those people went to the cinema. It was filled up, sold out, and uh, I got the Crystal Award. So because there are so many people who came to the cinema and bought the ticket and uh, saw the film, so that made that. I got um, more money to make another film, and that's what I'm uh, finishing at the moment. And Leonard and uh, no, the, uh, uh, the producers, they asked me to be a co-director of this film, Raw Herring. And uh, I thought, yeah, why not? Because uh, I know that Leonard, me and Jasper are a team, and never change with the team. So, uh, and we have our ages, so like I'm the oldest, Leonard is uh, four years younger than me, and Jasper is the youngest, he's uh, 29 years younger than us, so, <laughs> no, 27 years younger than me. So, uh, that makes that we are, uh, we are covering 
uh, the young generation and the middle generation and the older mm. elder generation, and that makes it very very easy for us to uh, to do it. And I, I like it really. But before, when I was a user, I was always looking at women's subjects, and it's me who brought in the trilogy uh, when Leonard shot in Indonesia, the trilogy I of the Day, Shape of the Moon, and Position of the Stars, which won its Fa and Sundance. I brought the woman aspect in it, so uh, I said we have to follow because I was also the co-writer of this film, so we have to bring in this old woman, this old lady, and do blah blah so so so, and also the children. I I liked it, I loved it. So I said if you can shoot children, do it, you know, like like that. And this is also in this film, Harry and Roy Harry. Uh, Leonard did uh, two trips, then one trip with uh, a non-cameraman who was shooting some stock shots. And then I heard from the mother of these children that their son, that her son was going on with a friend and another friend, so three boys. And I said immediately to Leonard, uh, to Leonard you have to shoot that, so go on. And, and then Leonard, oh wow, yeah, 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 okay. Children, where you can get better access to children and to these all adults, these fishermen, and they, they're not talking to each other, they, they, they only, you know, like, they don't talk, they, they do only, they are only joking. Mm. And, and the other thing is that they speak a slang we can't understand. It's Dutch, but it isn't, we can't understand. And children, they are, yeah, they speak Dutch, so um, it, was, it was very nice to, to, to talk with them.